really, really slight stuttering. It's blazing through pretty quickly. Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I wanna do a real world test on how the new Mac mini with the M2 Pro can handle 4K editing on Adobe Premiere Pro. In my first video for the channel, I unboxed a new Mac mini with the M2 Pro and did a real world test on how it handled 4K editing using footage from my Sony a7 IV. However, I tested using Final Cut Pro, and as we know, Final Cut is Apple software that's optimized for Apple hardware. Being that the base Mac Mini with the M2 or even M1 chip can still decently handle 4K editing on Final Cut, it's no surprise that the M2 Pro chip can handle it with ease. So today, I wanted to see how the M2 Pro performs on Premiere instead of Final Cut. All right, let's fire up Premiere. So just like in my first video, I'm going to throw in a bunch of footage from my Sony a7 IV, which are 4K 10-bit 422 HEVC clips. This time though, I'm actually going to show you the different things I'm doing versus already having all my footage dumped in so you can get a clearer picture of how the Mini is performing throughout the editing process. I never actually use in and out points in Premiere, I think until recently since using them in Final Cut. I always just stuck to my old school workflow because it worked for me even though it probably wasted a lot of time. Scrubbing the timeline is pretty smooth. Playback is smooth. It's holding up pretty well. I'm going to add in another layer for my B cam shots, which were just overhead shots. Uh, keep in mind that footage is coming from my A6300, so the files aren't as heavy as the A7 IV. Let's do some speed ramps. So here I ramped up from 40% to 5,000%. That's pretty extreme, but uh, it's to create a transition. And I noticed a bit of stuttering. But after going back a few times, it looks like it catches up and plays it back without any stutter. All right, gonna do some grading. I'm not going to take the grading too seriously since this is just to see performance once some coloring has been done. So I'm just going to copy and paste the same settings. Normally you would need to make some adjustments, but uh, skipping that for this test. You can see some stutter when scrubbing. It's really minor, takes like maybe half a second or a quarter of a second even to catch up. Since I'm screen recording, let me see if stopping that will help. Not sure if you can see, but it's pretty much the same really really slight stuttering when I scrub I don't think enough to impact your experience but it's there when I scrub my B cam clips though it's smooth with no stutter again my B cam was my a6300 mounted overhead it's still shot in 4k but obviously not 10 bit 422 all right so I cut a video together had a couple cameras added an adjustment layer for coloring and the video is just under a minute long, so let's see how long to export. It's blazing through pretty quickly. Took pretty much half a minute to export in H.264, which is really fast. Also exported in H.265 and took around the same time. Overall, it's still a pretty smooth experience editing on Premiere Pro with the M2 Pro chip. In all the time I've spent editing on this Mac Mini, it's been on Final Cut and I've never experienced any stutters, frame drops, or slow performance. But again, it's software that's optimized for the hardware. With Premiere Pro, we get a better picture of what the hardware is capable of and it still handles the editing pretty well, minus the very minor stuttering when scrubbing after applying grades. Again, not enough to really impact you while editing. I know in these tests I've done with Final Cut and Premiere on the M2 Pro, I did some pretty basic editing, but I think it's what most people interested in purchasing the Mac Mini would be doing, and it still gives you an idea of what you can work with. I also think this chip can handle heavier things like masks and transitions and graphics without any issues. Maybe in the future we'll try some heavier and more advanced edits to really put it to the test on both softwares, but for now it's been handling basic editing on both softwares with little to no issues and really fast. One major thing to consider, and I forgot to mention earlier, is that I didn't even render anything. Had I did render, it probably wouldn't have stuttered when scrubbing. So for the M2 Pro to handle everything without rendering the clips or sequence and perform the way it did is even more impressive. 
I've been a long time Premiere Pro user and recently switched to Final Cut. Uh, I've used Premiere since starting videos ever. Uh, so over 10 years and Premiere Pro has been the only editing software that I've ever known and used. So for me to switch to Final Cut recently, um, it was huge and there was a learning curve. There were things to get used to, to learn. But if you want to hear my experience and why I switch, maybe because you're either deciding between the two, which one to go with, or maybe you're in the same shoes where you're on Premiere and you're interested in switching to Final Cut. I'll put a video together covering that. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Anyways, if you liked this video and thought it was helpful, give it a like. If you have any tips and advice to share on editing and performance related on Premiere, drop a comment below and let's continue building this channel and community together. Thanks guys.